Hi everybody and welcome to Auntie's Adventure Assortment. I'm down in the city again and I just uh, caught sight of a little uh, children's playground here along the road so I thought I might search it out. Let's see if I can give you a little shot of it. Yeah, well anyway, I'm not going to film too much because I don't have a lot of time but uh, I just want to see what's there. So let's go find out together. Oh, sorry about the hand reveal there. Uh -huh. Somebody blew a shoe. There does seem to be a fair amount of garbage around here. I don't think I can pick it all up. Well, shoot, after digging down all that way, at least a foot, it's, oh, I don't know, it's like a can of nuts or something. It has the metal bottom and then the cardboard with the foil. Darn it. It sounded so sweet. I didn't dare leave it. Oh well. Dig or doubt. Well, hello beautiful humans and welcome to the wrap up of my uh, hunt at the park in the city. Uh, that park looked a lot nicer from the road than it did when I actually got in there. Yeah, I didn't stay too long, maybe an hour and a half. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of junk there. There was a lot of surface rubbish, uh, plastic cups, water bottles, uh, stuff just tossed around. I found somebody's shoe. Um, lots and lots of rubbish. But anyway, I've, I'll just go through what I found. Some of it's kind of surprising. So there's a, there was an entire 7-Up can. This was down a couple of inches in the sand. Uh, lots and lots of aluminum can slaw, a piece of wire, a twist tie, foil, a battery, pull tabs, more foil. This is a strange pull tab. I should have bent it back. Here, let's see if I can bend it. Well, there we go. That's closer to what it is. Yeah, I I haven't seen one like that before. I don't know what that's from. Anywho, um, I followed this. Oh, a couple of rusty, rusty scraps, piece of a keychain. I followed this signal down, down, down. It was big and kind of smeary, and it's a, probably a nut can. It's got the metal bottom and then it would have had like the foil lined paper you know cardboard tube and then it would have the plastic snap lid yeah that really rang boy I was disappointed when I picked that up uh, here's something surprising it was a five dollar scratch card obviously not a winner um, it actually rang I, I guess there's some foil involved in that and Lord help me, I found a packet for Camagra 100 milligrams oral jelly. Uh, yeah, this is sildenafil citrate, which people know by a different name here. Uh, yeah, we've said enough of that. Tons of bottle caps. Tons. I stopped digging them. I, I was digging them because they sound like Canadian quarters. Darn it. Anyway, around the uh, the bench, tons of beer caps. Uh, this disappoints me in a children's playground. Anyway, try not to judge. Four Heineken caps. Somebody liked their Heineken. This I didn't know was beer. I had to look it up. Mickey's.com. Mickey's Fine Malt Liquor. Uh, indecipherable. This has some kind of design on it, but I don't recognize it. I don't know if you will. I really don't care. I'm not fond of beer. Stella Artois. This one's new to me. Dragon Stout. Guinness. That's the only beer I can actually swallow, but only if it's draft. They're, they're tinned stuff I don't like. Corona. 
These are pop. Vita malt. That's these are popular in in the Caribbean. Uh, Vita malt is one. This one's called Ting. I think that might be grapefruit flavored. I forget. And Island Soda. I don't quite know what that is, but I think it's like what we call cream soda. Two of those. So beer outweighs pop consumption in this park by a long way. This big old cap, I don't know what that's from. I found a little hair clip that's going in the garbage right away. And this, I, I don't know what this is. It's a pretty color. Plastic. It rang up, so it's got some metal in it somewhere. I don't know if this is like the battery cover for something. I haven't the faintest idea. Trash. I found a bling earring. Which I think is inexpressibly ugly, but that's just me. Uh, Post is folded back. It's just junk. It's my second piece of jewelry, though. And I found... I found a rhinoceros. How cool is that? I like him. I think I'll keep him. Has he got anything written on him? China. I don't think they have rhinoceros in China. Do they? Maybe they do. I know they have a lot of plastic in China. And now I have a plastic rhinoceros from China. What should I call him? Roger? Maybe? Anyway, that was fun. I was glad to find him. And I found some coins. Quite a few, actually. I did pretty well. I got, I got three nickels. 1980. 2015 and a very scabby 2016. Very scabby indeed. For quarters, this is a Jubilee quarter, 1952 to 2002. That's the Queen's 50th year of reign. This one looks like 2000 and, oh shoot, I'll just check. This is 2009. This one's a 2012. And I think I think this one is 2016. Yep. A toonie. Big money. 2005 $2 coin. With the polar bear. And I found a US shield nickel. So, this is not very old at all. I don't want to offend anybody, but I think this is an ugly coin. I don't... I mean, I shouldn't have an opinion, but... I preferred the memorial. I can't see the date on that. 2000 and some teen. I'm not familiar with the uh, issue dates of, of the shield nickel. I just don't... Shield nickel. Oh my goodness. Shield penny. Yeah. Anyway, there it is. Poor old Abe. He's got a zit on his chin. All right, my friends. Well, that's a lot of stuff for an hour and a half hunt. Some of which... We need never speak up again. All right, my dears.
for now, this is Auntie, waving goodbye. Come and see me on the next hunt.